We're out here at the property today and we're going to be doing some pond maintenance. This is what the pond's been looking like. We've been trying to drain it. I actually got the pump today. We're going to be throwing the pump in it and try to figure out where we can build a ramp somewhere around here to get down in and start scooping out the outsides. So we have the pond here that we're going to drain. We're gonna get the pump ready. We have a two inch semi-trash pump. This is a, I believe it's a 212 Predator. This is from Harbor Freight, nothing too crazy. The hardware and accessories from Harbor Freight and the two inch rubber hose. So that's what we're gonna be using. And then we're gonna be pumping it from the pond over into the creek. Fingers crossed, I didn't winterize this. Completely forgot about it. So, I think I'm just gonna see if it'll fire up real fast. You're not really supposed to run them without gas. But we'll see if she fires up. Well, <laughs> that fired up a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Before we begin, I just wanted to share something. I t usually take some grease, just a little bit of grease, and put it on this. This is aluminum to aluminum and aluminum to brass. Really becomes a pain in the butt. And I found that this kind of helps out. Hopefully I don't... <laughs> This is going to be fun. There's so much muck. I just fell up to my calf. Broke through some of this water. So we got the pump running and it's pumping out nice. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Tell you what, person that guesses within the closest to the depth of the pond, I got a prize for you guys. I got something, I'll send it to you free contest. So the person that guesses the depth of the pond correctly or the closest in the comments right now I will, we'll send you something cool. We'll give you a gift, how about that? We need to try to figure out where we're going to drive down into the pond and start scooping some of this stuff, stuff up.
So I clearly underestimated the pond. <laughs> oh, I am definitely going to have to go a lot. Uh, make the grade up. not as steep right here. You can see the front tires consistently. As soon as it hits this back hump here, it's done. I can actually go out pretty far and, and, and grab, but uh, it seems to be hard enough that I can get down into that, honestly. The water level obviously has to go down a lot more, but we are going to... Uh, there's a stump here. This is the reason why I made it so like this it is. And there's a huge stump there. So might have to pull this stump out here and just make this pad at least go back to to here to where the buckets and get a nice little grade going until that happens i'll give you guys an update as this goes we'll put it on time lapse and then i'll hop around and do a couple other things on the property so you guys can watch the pond drain All right, give you guys an update. Let the pond drain a little bit and then King came back and used the tractor to kind of grade out a ramp down into the water. And then the goal was to get right below the gray clay and kind of get down into the actual clay again, just for traction in this area and then work my way over to the ditch. Well, you can tell the water level has went down about six inches, but it's not down low enough. All right, guys, here's an update of the pond. It's about 7.30. We've been running for about six hours or so. And we're down about three feet, uh, three and a half, four feet. We got this much left to go. Unfortunately, this ain't our primary residence, so I can't stay here and pump. Then we got some rain coming. I'm hoping that it don't raise it up too much. So while I have you guys here, we're actually going to build a waterfall. Uh, not in this video. However, if you want to see that video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification icon, the bell, so you're notified when we go... Uh, and do a, another video. So the idea is to, this used to be where we had an overflow tube that would keep the pond uh, level. And then it ran down through here and then into the creek and then out. So I think what we're going to do now to avoid some of the stagnant water that's in the pond, we actually have uh, a like a little creek tile. Actually, let me go over there and I'll show you guys. Okay, so the pond is right here. This is where the in the ditch, the tile ditching used to be. And we go underneath the driveway and into the pond. This does not flow very good. This really just catches groundwater. Maybe 100 feet away from that ditch, there is a tile now. This is a seasonal tile, but it runs 90% of the time. That frog. This is a seasonal creek. It runs about 90% of the time. It's muddy right now because I actually was ditching it out just not too long ago to drop the water level in the back of the property. So what we're gonna do is redirect this probably come on we're here walking away we're going to redirect it somewhere around here i would imagine the ponds over there where the kibota is at we got a whole bunch of big stone everywhere on this you know stuff like this we have a big one right here we have a couple right here 
There's some one right here. We got to still dig them out of the ground. So we're going to take these and put them on this backside and see if we can't create some type of waterfall on this backside. And the reason I say that is so we can really utilize this elevation difference. And then we'll get rid of, or we'll clean this up and we'll have like a nice little waterfall here. We're going to have, eventually we're gonna have decorative grass going along the side here. There's going to be, the hillside's gonna be grass because now we, we've thinned out the trees. So we'll clean all of this up over here and make like a nice little uh, walking path that will go down through and it will utilize the bridge. We have a walking bridge back there that we're building and have just a nice little trail that walks the creek. So it should be pretty interesting. We're gonna have decorative trees and a waterfall here just to kind of, again, utilize this height. We have about two to three, well, three or four feet of elevation here. I think it'd be pretty cool to have like a little waterfall coming off of that and it'll give this sound too as well of moving water so that is the tour of the pond i guess and the ditch and the waterfall if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you got any questions comments go ahead and post them down in the comments